must be keeping it at bay. Lost in thought. Still alive, so that's progress. You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy! He's with me. Come. Jahira! Hello. Absolutely. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... ...it's that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. protected the Emerald Grove. Yup. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved two of my friends. One from a harpy, and one from a mad druid with a snake. Didn't make a fuss of our thieving either. I pretty much trust him with my life. A true soul with a mind of his own? How is that possible? Enlighten me. Now. What in the hell is that thing? Congratulations! You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers! All clear! At ease! I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me... Why have you come here? Then you found an ally in me. For that is precisely why I am here. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too, if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. I'm knocking around here, right? Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. The Jahira. Hey, it would have been an honor. Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. 
My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid. Adamant. Tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always... some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! Whatever I expected to find lurking in this... Good to see a friendly face. Karlak! I thought you'd be in the city by now. We were ambushed by cultists. Half of us were captured, the other half ran here. Off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them. Hopefully. Before you run off into the belly of the beast, there's something I need to tell you. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. The good news, obviously. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Karlik to... Touch people! Exactly! Oh my god. It's really happening. It's been so long. We've got the iron. Let's do this thing! Hang on! I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Yeah, sure. But first, fix me. Please. Well, all right. This shouldn't take long. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. There. So did it... work? Only one way to find out. We're all right. No burns. Can we go to bed now? <laughs> Hold on, Karlak. There's something I need to tell you. That engine of yours. It's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that, but the thing is, there's a cure. I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure, but... at this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. You read my mind. Thanks, Damon, really. You've given me more than I could ever repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck, both of you. Look after yourself, all right? This is 
the best day. The best day! <laughs> Me too. Whenever you want to turn in, I'd love to take this whole touch thing for a test drive. I know we have important things to do, but we deserve a little sweetness too. Listen, I'm never going back. If you said I could die right now or live a thousand years in the hells, I'd choose to go out now with my freedom intact. I don't expect anyone to understand that, but I've been dealt a hand most people don't have to contemplate playing. Damon, there is no solution. It's hell or bust. I choose bust. But I don't want to talk about this now. I've been given a huge gift. I can touch the people I love for the first time in a decade. And for the first time in a decade, there are people I care about all around me. Let me enjoy that, please. Thanks, soldier. I just want to celebrate this. At least for a little. Glad you and Karlak are all right. Well, as all right as any of us. A makeshift Harper's fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. And? If you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. I hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove, for obvious reasons, but no one has earned my trust if not you. When Elturel was dragged into Avernus, I was drafted into a Devil's Smithy. It should have been awful, but infernal metal is like a wild horse, powerful, exuberant. It'll kill you if you lack technique. I could sense some, smell it almost. Somewhere in the area, underground maybe. Something incredible. Some of us had it easier than others. The baker, the schoolmaster. When Elturel was swallowed up, they could do little but survive. As for me, I won't say I enjoyed my time there, but it was certainly instructional. Absolutely. Rare to get your hands on this stuff. Well done keeping it to hand. Show that to. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. I don't need anything. It's perfect, really. Just a moment, I'll be able to work this one quickly. There you are. 
And be careful who you show that to. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. Need anything? Well, well, well. I knew I smelled something. And I know just what to do with it. One moment. There you are. And be careful who you show that to. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. Need anything? I'll be here if you need... Need anything? Using something that's already fabricated is tough. But I can try. How many do you have? Hmm. I thought I sniffed American scent somewhere. These must have been a pain to get a hold of. American masks are brittle. So what I make won't last as long as my usual pieces. There. Be careful who sees you using that. You might draw the wrong sort of eyes. Need anything? I'll be here if you need anything else.
How beautiful it must be to know you can hold a hand, caress a cheek after going so long without. We'll get Karlak fixed up, right? There's always a way. There has to be. Sorry, but there's no room for me. Let's make this happen. Sharp as ever. Pride of the gate. Let's move. There is work to do. Give up now. Just about. Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. Cheeky. But, since you're asking... If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. Take care now. Need anything? Yeah. Two steps in, and you're likely to become some daggers new sheath. 
Looking ahead. Need anything? If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. Take care now. I'd love to, thanks. <clears throat> God, blood, this is heavy. So just about do. Just about. See you shouldn't hang around too long, though. Too dark to tell. I bet they're close. Watching us. I wish we'd gear up and head out. All this standing around is making me antsy. Got to have a plan first. Got to trust Jahira to come up with one. I don't. I do. And that's why we're still standing around.
Here. There's more where that came from. Wish we had stone. Or steel. <laughs> I wish we had a bloody army. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. Take care now. My faith will guide me. Uh, can't it ain't like pretty, but it can take a beating. It'll need to. Cleric's magic won't hold out the darkness forever. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. Take care now. Need anything? I'll be here if you need anything else. No, still incapable. For you to know. Well, come close, your mind to mine. Kindred spirit, but I only wish to be an ox. Do you understand? My little secret. What are you thinking about? Incredible. Like I'm really alive. Like we can finally be real. I can be close to you now without fear, without thinking too hard. We can just be. No more than anyone else. Well, maybe slightly more. But that's the past now. I'm free. More free than I've ever been now. I was hoping you'd say that. 
What are you thinking about? Hope you're keeping well, friend. Time's over, pet. Ah, oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil, and a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers, and you're getting them out. Will your playmate's wasting precious time? Let's see about getting his priorities fixed. Ahem. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemur. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to a vernus. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mazora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. Oh, and what condition is that? Your mind links with Will's, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? Will relaxes and your connection fades. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? never seen such a fearless display of sheer idiocy. Bravo! <laughs> Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearers' fulfillment of related obligation. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do mind the shadows. They've been especially hungry. This dark land must be filled with the broken, the beaten, the desperate. The perfect praying ground for a devil who offers a way out for those who sign on the dotted line. I hope we end up seeing our friend Raphael down here somewhere. You don't have to sign anything. Just help me find him. When I was taken to his house, I was caught off guard. But now, now I know what to ask for.
Perfect. I knew you would understand. God damn it. Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. What if it's a runaway like me? Or something far worse? to believe that as much as you do almost as much as will does but i just know there will be more to the story there always is it's a bad idea to play games with the devil you'd never win not ever The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the Hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the Blade stands for. Such an asshole. Not a one. All that matters is that we free it. Fail. And I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front lines of the blood war. And it means everything to me. I always knew what my future held. And I know I chose right. Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it. But I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. I can feel Mazora scheming, plotting. She won't let me go without making a fuss. Trust me on that. The voice of the Absolute is strong here, and getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing. Saving those people in the grove. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's not your fault the world is wicked. You did the right thing. runs deeper than she's willing to show you. <sighs> the voice of the Absolute. Stronger this time. It just doesn't stop. 
We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. Yes, but the orders are oddly erratic, as if the Absolute cannot make up its mind. I don't fully understand. In any case, the Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. I am the only one who can resist the Absolute's influence. Hence its fear of me. It's... it's desperation. Unfortunately, that also means it is dedicating more and more resources to my retrieval. The task ahead is monumental. But we're all that stands between victory for the Absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the Absolute, and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. Now I must rest. And you must carry on. Do not let my efforts be in vain. Need anything? I'll be here if you need anything else. Need anything?
I'll be here if you need anything else. No one stopped me yet. Pretty, but it can take a beating. I wish we'll head out. Cleric's magic on hold out is up. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. Take care now. His territory ran from the wood of sharp teeth to cloak wood. It took half an army to Lost drive like him best bargains, right here. He end up here. This place gives me the creeps. Welcome to our humble... Wait, are you Karlak? A lot of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I, uh... Yeah, I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. But if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. I saw you lay out a maw demon in two hits. Bam, bam! We were all like, whoa! Ever heard of the Blade of Frontiers, kid? If you like monster smashing, you might be a fan of his work. Who's that? A lovely chap. Didn't kick ass in the Blood War, but that's neither here nor there. That's true, but he never got kidnapped by a devil either. Uh, huh? <laughs> Sorry, kid. Look, forget about us big grudges and bruises. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those, and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. In that case, want to buy a lucky ring I found? Ha! Nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. It is, isn't it? <sighs> Hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. Don't be shy. Check it out. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone, but I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. I mean, maybe. But she put me in charge of the shop. I, I thought... <sighs> Never mind. Here. You can have it then. Premium trinkets and doodah! What can I get you? Pleasure doing... Come on, let's go. Last Light's best bargains right here.
Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. All this standing around is making me antsy. All is ash and meat. Welcome back. Are you <clears throat> looking for something in particular? Pleasure doing business. Don't wander far. We need to talk. Good. 